Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to my second video tutorial on the Phantom ecosystem. In my previous video, I went over the process of taking Phantom FTM tokens, swapping those tokens using the Rubik DEX Exchange website into LQDR tokens, and how we would come here on the liquiddriver.finance page to the XLQDR and how you would lock those tokens up long term. I also went into great detail about the different APRs that you'll find over here and how you need to click on the calculator to determine whether two weeks, two months, one year, or two years is what you're looking for. And most importantly, remember that if you're locking things up for two years or one year or two months or two weeks, that they are locked up. There is no option here to withdraw any of those funds early. Again, that's the entire point of locking them up long term. Two years is what I did so that you earn the maximum APR that you see listed over here. Now, in this video, we're going to be covering another passive income earning option, which is farming. And we're going to be talking about the zap feature, one of the coolest features I've seen with respect to a number of the blockchain projects that are out there. However, first, remember that all the information provided in this video tutorial is provided on an as is and as available basis. And you agree that your use of such information is entirely at your own risk. You should not construe any such information or other material in my video tutorial as legal tax investment, financial or other advice. Nothing in this video or on my YouTube channel constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement, or offer by myself or any other third party. I am not liable for the loss of any fiat assets or tokens or any fees incurred as a result of you following the steps presented here. And this is not investment advice, and I am not an investment advisor. The opinions expressed in this video tutorial are for general information and entertainment purposes only and are not intended to provide specific financial and or tax advice or recommendations for any individual token or any specific cryptocurrency token or investment product. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's dive in here. Now, in the previous video to this, the link to which you can find in the description below, I talked about locking up long term your liquid driver tokens and how you would convert those into XLQDR leveraging the MetaMask wallet. Now remember, the MetaMask wallet, you want to make sure that you are on the Phantom Opera mainnet. And it's going to ask you to switch networks if you're not already there. So as you can see, I kind of recharged here on some Phantom FTM. And so we've got 75 Phantom and change to play with. Again, big advisory here. Do not take all your Phantom out of your MetaMask wallet in order to either swap it uh, or to farm it or whatever you're going to do with it. Remember, you have to have Phantom FTM in your MetaMask wallet on the Phantom Opera mainnet to pay the fees for all of the things I'm showing you how to do here. Again, it's pennies on the dollar. And I'd also like to do sort of another quick go back here uh, in order to get this 75 Phantom off of the Binance Exchange. I had moved some more Proton XPR. And if I would have done it on the Ethereum blockchain, $89 was the fee that they wanted to charge me by using the Binance Smart Chain Bridge, 24 cents. Again, that Binance Smart Chain Bridge is amazing. All right, so let's come back to uh, the second option that I'm going to talk about. So in the first video, again, we talked about locking things up long term. And this is another option for you to consider based on your investment and passive income goals. And this is all about yield farming here. Now, if you're looking to earn LQDR and maybe you want to take the LQDR you earn here and then roll that back into the XLQDR amount that you're currently staking. Or maybe you want to do something else with it. Maybe you're interested in swapping it. And so what I'm going to show you how to do here is how you would create the LQDR FTM liquidity pool tokens 
that you need in order to stake. As you can see here, I did a very small transaction first to get things set up. And that's what I want to touch on first. Now, when you come to this page for the very first time, you're not going to see zap over here. You're going to see this the approve. And so what you would want to do is you click on approve for whichever liquidity pool it's, it is you're interested in farming with. And you can see here, take a look at that. So it's going to cost me three cents to be able to check it out. So I click approve. The transaction is going to go ahead and go through. And this approve is going to change into a zap. In fact, look at that right on cue. Again, definitely be patient with the web pages. I've noticed that, you know, it, it sometimes it will vary between like five seconds, like we saw right here, or you may be waiting 30 or 40 seconds for the page to sort of auto magically refresh and show you the updated information. So now that we see the zap option, Here's all you would have to do. Now, what's the difference between this and locking things up with XLQDR, as I showed you when you staked using this option here? Well, the difference here is, is that I can withdraw from my stake at any time. So if I would were to invest, you know, $100 here, and then two or three days from now, I decide, you know what, this isn't working for me, I need that $100 back, I can withdraw those tokens, right, that I've got staked. Or I could just sit and harvest, uh, like I do with my Proton XPR, I can harvest up those rewards. And again, you're earning LQDR. So how do we earn the rewards? And the first question that uh, usually gets asked is, well, how do you get these liquidity pairs, the LQDR FTM? Well, it's super simple. You're going to click on zap, and you're going to notice this is why you need FTM. Now, if you're earning a whole bunch of LQDR, you could swap from LQDR to FTM in order to increase the stake that you have here. Uh, and again, you can see how many options are available from a passive income perspective and from a staking and a farming perspective in the Phantom ecosystem. And that's one of the things that I love about it. So... Remember, you do not want to hit 100% because this is going to take all the phantom out of your MetaMask wallet. So I've got 75.28. Let's take 70, right? That seems like a good round number. So we'll pull, whoops, and that is not what I wanted there. So let's do 70.0. There we go, or just 70. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to zap the 70 FTM phantom tokens, and it's auto magically going to create for me the liquidity pair, right? The LQDR to FTM. So let's click on zap. And you can see here that uh, pooled LQDR is going to be 4.2955. Pooled FTM is going to be 35 because it's matching them together, basically sort of, I guess you could think about it like equal amounts of each of the tokens. And then I'm going to say confirm zap. Now we're going to get the MetaMask window pop up here and take a look, nine cents. <laughs> That's what I'm paying for this transaction. So and again, this is one of the things that annoys me about Ethereum are the gas fees, and they are so criminal. So let's click confirm. And you're going to see that we're going to get a confirmation. Uh, and again, be patient here. You want to give it some time to sort things out. Uh, and then the page will do its magic and should refresh. And so when this... Con um, transaction is finished, uh, we're going to have an additional amount of liquidity pool tokens or LP tokens that we can then add in to the stake that we already have. So I definitely feel like I've been patient here. And this is again, where you might have to click refresh to see what's going on. And typically what I'll do is I'll come up here, I'll click on the MetaMask wallet. Uh, you can see that the transaction shows that it's pending still. And so we're going to wait and, okay, it looks like it might be done. So we may see some action over here on the main webpage, but I pull my MetaMask wallet up to see what's the status. Now, you'll notice that the Phantom FTM balance has definitely changed. So it looks like everything is done. Uh, and again, these tokens have been added in here, I'm assuming. Uh, and it looks like I've already got some space. Spirit LP, I'm not sure where that came from. Again, I'll have to double check on that. Uh, but you'll notice that the phantom balance did change. So that would kind of indicate that this is finished, even though the page hasn't refreshed. So I'm going to click X and I'm going to shut that down. And then let's refresh the page. Now, when I refresh, I may be prompted to reconnect my wallet. 
I wasn't here, so no big deal. If I click on show details, you can see that right now my stake is tiny. Again, I did a very tiny transaction just to check it out. And it's definitely worth noting that the 113% you see here is before there is a subtraction for the trading fees, right? So there is, you can think of this as like a commission uh, that you're gonna be paying here, this 10.38%. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, stake. And you can see there are the 8.71 LQDRFTM that are available, right? So I've got 8.71 to play with. I'm going all in here. Now, remember, this is not the FTM balance coming out of my MetaMask wallet. So I'm, I'm clicking max here because this is the liquidity, um, liquidity provider token pair, right? This is that pair of LQDR and FTM that the Zap feature enabled for us. And then I'm simply going to click Confirm. And we're gonna get a little prompt up here. And again, remember you're paying with FTM Phantom. That is what the Phantom token is in terms of the Phantom ecosystem. It's to pay for all of these cool things that we're able to do. And it looks like 13, we'll say 14 cents, right? <laughs> Better than $89 in Ethereum fees. All right, so I click confirm. It looks like everything is good. And our stake, you can see here, it says 36.6, but we should see that uh, increase here. I'm gonna wait for a couple seconds uh, and you can see LQDR earned and it looks like spirit earned. And maybe that's where the, the spirit earning is coming from, but this is basically another way to earn LQDR and spirit. And there you go. Take a look at that as I was rambling on the stake increased to $210.05. So that's my stake. There's the total stake in this pool, not me. That's the total stake in the pool. Here's the price. Uh, and there is the APR I would expect to get, which is 103%. Again, it shows 113 over here, but there is gonna be a commission of some kind uh, that you're gonna end up uh, incurring. All right, so at this point, I've got 210.5 invested here. I'll do a follow-up video where I come back in and we take a look at both the XLQDR, excuse me, and I talked about this epic time here. So it's in another three hours and 47 minutes uh, that I'm then going to go into sort of that, you know, the eligibility to earn the rewards over here. And that's the difference with the farm, right? You'll notice with the farm, I, I put this in today. So, I mean, this started earning immediately for me. And there's a little bit more flexibility here with respect to your assets, right? And I, I like to keep that show details open so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, there really isn't much to harvest. If I was to click on harvest, let's take a look at... Uh, what we might see here. So it looks like it's gonna charge me seven cents. Again, seven cents, you can't beat that. Um, but there's really nothing to harvest. So maybe next week I'll come back and do another video to show you like, hey, here's what this 210.50 was earning me with LQDR FTM in the farm, in the liquidity pool farm. And then we could take a look at the X LQDR, the two year long-term staked, and we can harvest some things up there. And one of the questions you might be wondering about is, okay, well, what do I do with spirit? I mean, what exactly would I do with that? Well, you've got all kinds of options, right? Uh, you could swap the spirit using the Rubik site and you could swap it into FTM or LQDR. Or if I was to scroll down here, I mean, let's take a look at some of these other options that you've got down here. Specifically, uh, here's this Boo FTM, right? Because you're going to be earning in that XLQDR. Remember, you're getting paid out different percentages on six different tokens, LQDR, WFTM, Lin Spirit. Uh, which is in spirit, which is wrapped, boo, spell, and beats. And so the obvious question is, well, what the hell do I do with those, right? What, you know, some of these I've, I've never even heard of before. You might be asking yourself like, you know, spell, what am I doing with that or lin spirit? Well, you can come take a look at these farms. You could swap some of those, or I'm gonna come all the way down here to the bottom to the Beethoven X or Beethoven X. Uh, where you can see, I went ahead and clicked on approve here because I was curious about this. So you can do spirit lin spirit pairing. So think of it like this. In the, L in the XLQDR, I'm earning lin spirit. In fact, 74.14% is the APR on that. 
And so that's what I'm earning in Lynn Spirit. Well, it also happens that in the farm, it looks like I might be earning some spirit here. So what could you do? I could harvest the spirit and then harvest the Lynn Spirit off of the XLQDR eight, um, uh, staking. And I could roll down here and I could drop these guys in together and I could pull 80% on those, right? So all kinds of different options are available here in the Phantom ecosystem. Again, it's one of the things I love about the Phantom ecosystem. It's very easy uh, to access this, right? I mean, super, super simple. And one final note, I wanna make sure I, I point a clarification. It's in the description in the previous video, but I wanna make sure that I, I'm clear here. When you're using the Rubik site or if you are in the Liquid Driver site itself and you click on Buy LQDR over here, if you use the Rubik applet, you connect your map and it might ask me to, yep. So let's connect up to the MetaMask wallet. If for whatever reason, that's the first time that you're using Rubik and all of the other exchange, you know, um, uh, Uniswap is like this. Um, what's the other one? Um, one inch, so Uniswap and one inch, they all kind of function the same way. So be aware of this. If it's the first time you connect your MetaMask wallet to Rubik, like I just did, and it's the first time you're interacting with these types of, uh, these tokens, right? Like Phantom and LQDR. If that's what you're trying to do, remember that the first activity or the first uh, what am I, the first transaction that you're doing the way that it's going to work and the contracts work like this if you've never interacted with rubik before or with uh I, I don't know about yoshi exchange but i would assume it's kind of the same or with one inch or uniswap you need to approve the tokens for every new contract that you interact with right so every time or I should say the first time that you interact with Rubik or Uniswap or one inch, you have to approve that transaction for those tokens. And then after that, you don't ever have, you don't do that again, right? As long as I'm using my MetaMask wallet and I'm swapping FTM to LQDR or using these two tokens, I don't have to again then approve that contract. The first time you do it, you have to approve the contract. And that's actually where I kind of got crossed up last night was I did the initial swap here and everything said that it worked. Etherscan showed that it was approved and the transaction was done and I didn't get any tokens, right? And so what it was, was I just simply needed to go back and then just read, you know, do it again, right? Put that information in, run the transaction again, it went through, and then that was what led me to the Phantom Opera mainnet, and then coming down here to importing the tokens, and again, the address that I showed you that you need to add to import the LQDR tokens is in the previous video. I'm also gonna put it in the description below for this video. All right. Again, too simple to get in here and to participate with the liquid driver um, farming and staking, right? So I wish you the best of luck. I hope that this video has helped you out. I hope that uh, you know, you're know you able to save yourself some fees and things like that with, with the FTM and getting the LQDR. And again, thanks so much for watching. Best of luck out there farming and with the passive income. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.